<laughs> well, that was that was easy. Alrighty, let's try to get off the ground next time. <laughs>
I think we survived that. It was a good one. All right, next. All right, so we're back on mission here. We're climbing up out uh, of uh, 2,500 as we pass the class Charlie airspace around West Palm Beach. That's uh, Peanut Island down there near Riviera Beach. So I know that it's time to turn inland to start looking visually for uh, North Palm Beach County Air Park. And what we have programmed in this time, this time I've told it specifically what I wanted to do, is a progressive failure, which I just heard the first part of. Because we just lost a bit of engine power, so now we got, we're got we running rough down at like 2200 RPM. So over here, in our checklist it says engine roughness, we got to turn on the carb heat. That's a good, that's good. That's good advice. Turn on the carb heat and I don't feel any improvement. I'll try adjusting the mixture. No improvement. I'm going to start looking around for places to land. Uh, that's some good, uh, we just lost more power too. There's 2,000 RPM. That's a pretty good looking beach up ahead again. Uh, there's also a highway there. I think that's like the 708 or something. And I think this is Jupiter Inlet here. Yep, and there goes more power. There's a lot of hotel buildings close to the beach there, but I think we're going for that beach again. Or that highway. Hard decision. We're still developing a little bit of power, so I got that throttle in there. It's going to help us for a while. Engine roughness. Uh, fuel selector and engine gauges, fuel pump. So, and then we can check the mags too. So, magnetos, we're on both right now. One, two, no improvement. One, two, back to both. Uh, and fuel selectors on a good tank, and the fuel pumps on. So we're we're going to commit to this now. So now we have time. We can uh, aviate, navigate, communicate. So I've flown the airplane, picked somewhere to land, and we can tune to one two one decimal five. Or if we're still on Palm Beach Tower, we can tell them Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Warrior eight zero two seven Foxtrot. Total loss of engine power. We're headed for the beach uh, north of Riviera Beach by the Jupiter Inlet. We're currently at two thousand feet. Or that long stretch of road there again. Tempting. But I think I'd rather take my chances with a beach than with cars. So we pretty much have total engine failure at this point, so we're just going to take that throttle back, the mixture out, turn off the mags and all the electrical equipment, and put the fuel selector to off. And then, since I have time, we're going to crack that door open because it's going to help us get out in case we bend the frame. That's something I always tell my passengers on their pre-flight briefing is that if you're sitting there, you're going to have to help me open that door if we have to land somewhere that's not an airport. Again, it's a normal landing, so we got flaps to use. I'm shooting right up there. Let's start slowing down. I want to kind of land near that tan house. Alrighty, let's get out of here. It's, it's kind of pretty if you don't think about it too much. <laughs> Alrighty, that was a good one. That was totally survivable. That's actually happened quite a number of times in Florida since everybody's flying along the coast. I think uh, Embry-Riddle too has had a few crashes in that way. Usually the plane's actually reusable. The beaches are pretty compact. Alrighty, next one, let's go. Alrighty, so we're back in business and we found uh, North Palm Beach County Air Park, which is right ahead. 
So we're going to enter on the 45 to left downwind, runway 08, and we have a random failure this time, so let's see what it's going to be. Uh, North County Air Park, Warrior 8027 Foxtrot, centering the 45 to left downwind, runway 08 right, North County. This is my favorite feature of track IR, is actually being able to look out and see where you are. Huh, I see some weird... Um, oh yeah, I think it's an oil leak. Because it seems like it's going all over the windshield. Uh, North County Traffic Warrior 8027 Foxtrot is on final runway 08 right, and we have an oil leak, so we're going to exit the runway immediately. Bring that power back. Uh, do we have an emergency checklist for oil leak? Water engine fire inside the white arc, so we can add two notches of flaps to help slow us down. Electrical fire, uh, I don't know. Oh, and there goes the engine. Well, th hopefully we're going to make it. I wasn't expecting that. So we can bring that mixture back just to cut off any fuel flow and turn off uh, our electrical equipment. Looks like we do have plenty of altitude, which is why it's good to always stay high, because altitude is your friend. 80 knots over the threshold. Add one more notch of flaps to help slow us down. We got the right runway made. Keep bringing it down. 70 knots. Flare, flare a little early. <laughs> there we go. You always just need to remind yourself it's a normal landing. It doesn't matter that you don't have an engine or what's going wrong. It's always a normal landing. So we don't have any power, so we're just going to get out of here right now. I guess we can just uh, throw open the door and get outside. Well, that was, that was good. We had lots of altitude. We had lots of altitude, which was great, because it meant that we could just totally make a normal landing, even though our oil system totally leaked out on us and the engine actually seized up, which I didn't even know prepared could do that, so that's kind of cool. Well, lesson learned there. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to do a couple of uh, touch and goes, and we're going to have it fail at totally random intervals along the way, and I'm just going to see how I handle those failures. Alrighty, engine's running again. Brakes are off. We're ready to go. North County Traffic, Warrior 8027 Foxtrot's taking off, runway 8 right, we'll be doing left close traffic in North County. We got one notch of flaps, doors closed, temperatures and pressures were all in the green during the run-up. Heels to the floor, full power. Temperatures and pressures are also all still in the green. Mixture's full of rich. And again, this is totally random failure intervals while flying a pattern. Because that's, you know, while you're close to the ground is the most dangerous part, right? 60 knots, rotate. And we're pitching for feet wide. About 76 knots in the Warrior. Climb up to about 600 feet, and that's the total power loss. Pitch, you lose a lot of your speed fast. And we're at 200 feet, so we're just going to pick an open field and go for it. There's 60 knots. Add some flaps to get us a little bit of lift. Safe. Across the railroad tracks. Now, in reality, is that area full of, like, swamps or gators or something before you get to the highway here? Maybe. I don't know. It might not be soft. It might not have been a pretty landing. But we were only at 200 feet, so we didn't try to make that impossible turn back to the airport, which at 200 feet just literally would not have been possible in this airplane. So we picked something straight ahead that looked clear, made it on the ground. Good. Let's do it again. All right. Back in business one more time. We're on the runway, and we're going to say North County Traffic Warrior 802 Foxtrot's taking off runway 08 right will be left close traffic, North County. Heels to the floor, full power. Temperatures and pressures look green. Air speed's alive.
Got those flaps set for takeoff. 60 knots, rotate. And climb it for VY. Actually, in theory, since we're trying to be safe, let's try climbing VX this time. VX is the best rate of, or best angle of climb, so it's going to keep us, oh, there's power loss again, it's down to 60 knots. We got 300 feet this time, just for fun, and it's a simulator, let's try making that impossible turn. I've seen the math, there's that stall buffet, so we need to bring out that bank angle. Not a chance. And that's how you end up in that stall spin. There's the stall. And that's why you don't try to make the impossible turn unless you have the altitude to do it. That's how it happens. And that's, it's kind of close to home because there was an accident at Worcester a couple of years ago where somebody tried to do exactly that. They had a failure a couple hundred feet after takeoff and they tried to make that turn in a Mooney, which is not as quite of a docile stalling machine as a Warrior and they didn't have the altitude to do it and it didn't end up so well so there's some reinforcement right there if you ever needed it if you are below figure out what your minimum is for that impossible turn go out with an instructor practice try to go around a couple of times as low as you can and once you figured out what your minimum is mine is probably 400 to 500 feet don't try to do it just you you can't you the airplane does not have the energy to do it so just aim somewhere in front of you and i guarantee it's going to turn out better than stall spinning trying to make it back to the airfield. So that's what I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a different video. If you like the simulator stuff, let me know. I can show you some of the more, uh, some of the gizmos and technology I have, or we can try to do some more interesting failure scenarios or uh, anything else you guys are interested in. Let me know. We can uh, give it a shot. Until then, I hope you enjoyed and learned something today, and we'll see you soon on the Friendly Skies channel. Squawk VFR and have fun. <laughs>